disclaimer before this video starts. This is a complete joke video. I know anyone can make this, and this is by far the simplest design. Just saying. This is the smallest possible 2 by one piston door. As you can see, it has a lightning speed opening and closing circuit. As you can see. Now, I know this is a very complicated design, and I know not many people can make this. But here we go. Let, let's get on with the tutorial. You want to place two pistons like that. And you want to place a lever or a block right here with a lever on top of it. And that's your whole entire bit in your two blocks, obviously. And that's your whole entire piston door done. Now, that was like a three hour long tutorial. I'm so sorry about that. But I know it's going to get a little bit more complicated when you go on to Bedrock Edition. If you're on Bedrock Edition, you use this simple design. But you move down two blocks, break the block in the middle, place redstone dust. And I know that was like three and a half hours. I'm so sorry. There you go, this is the most difficult possible 2x1 piston door ever made. But the main thing with this is you can place the lever anywhere. But just to let you know, a button would not work with it right here. Just to let you know, a button will not work with this. If we just quickly grab a block and then press a button, it'll work I guess. But what you need to do is, if you want to power this thing by a button or a pressure plate, what you're going to need to do is depending on how long you want this thing to stay closed or open. So right here you can have a button right here. This is where it's actually going to get a bit complicated. You have a button right here it, with a repeat with a uh, block right there, repeater into what's called a monostable circuit into that block right there with another repeater. Okay, and that should then make your piston door pretty much functional. Now, if you're doing this in a pressure plate and you want it to like open up, but when but it closes automatically, what you need to do is something a bit more complicated. You have to go down here place redstone dust right here redstone dust right here and what you need is four comparators we can just grab some you need to grab four comparators right here or two two or four comparators depending on how long you want to let it go up a block right here redstone dust right there and to repeater with a block on top of it now that is called as a pulse extender and then you just simply feed that up into your simple block okay that's it that is literally all you need to do so if you want to see if that works or not but before you do that you need to make sure instead of on this block instead of redstone dust you need a redstone torch to have it on automatically now that actually slowed down your design by a tenth of a second which is quite a lot when it was originally instant okay and it'll stay open for a long time but after a while this pulse will shorten and it will then close okay and there we are, the most complicated design for a 2x1 piston door. You're welcome. Now, if you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like and just let you know this is, in fact, a joke video. I know anyone who has a, even the slightest understanding of Roadstone would be able to make this. It is quite simple. And, of course, for Bedrock, it's the same exact way, only uh, you, need, you need this to be a half slab right here. And you also need to have Redstone Dust right there. <laughs> and uh, Redstone Dust right there. Okay, awesome.